So good evening, good evening everybody. And uh, it is a good evening. Uh, we haven't ruined it yet. We play on Monday evening. Uh, we might ruin it, but it's all good. We can all sit and laugh at Man United. We can laugh at everybody else. We can laugh at Chelsea. Uh, not for me. Uh, let's wait and see what we do Monday before we start laughing at other teams. But before I get into talking about a mad game, an unbelievable game, uh, a game that had six goals, stoppage time, equalizers. Um, it was crazy. It was um, an action-packed game at the Hawthorns. But before I get into talking about that, uh, firstly, make sure you subscribed, liked, um, following me on Insta, League Gunner 82 Secondly, make sure that if you want to be in with a chance to win a signed and framed Dennis Burkamp t-shirt, make sure you download the Flick application. The link is in the description down below. It is free to download the app. Make sure once you've done that, you scroll down to the Burkamp t-shirt giveaway. When you do that, make sure that in the bottom right, you see a little emote. Uh, you can't miss it. It's like a, a little character. Uh, make sure you put two of them in the chat. You are qualified for the competition that ends on Monday night after we play Liverpool at Anfield. Um, don't forget, I'll be doing a watch along for that game with Guna Eagle Eye. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We actually play Liverpool twice um, next week. Thursday, we're back again in Carabao Cup action. But um, let's go through uh, this game. This game was crazy. Chelsea were. Um, Chelsea were 3-0 down at half-time. Callum Rob um, Robinson scoring twice. Uh, Kyle Bartley scoring the third. And they were they were actually 3-0 down inside 28 minutes. And uh, you can see Twitter's gone into madness. I mean, look at Lampard. He was fuming. Uh, but his team did fight back. They found a way. And uh, they did get it back to three apiece. And uh, like I said, inside 20, well, 27 minutes, um, Chelsea were 3-0 down to newly promoted West Brom. It was a mad game. They obviously dropped Kepa today. Arifa Balaga was on the bench. They went with Willy Caballero. Not sure that he covered himself in glory at all today, if I'm being completely honest. But the fight back was on. And, uh, and Chelsea um, fully came back to, um, to get, a, uh, get a draw, sorry. And uh, Tammy Abraham scoring in the 94th minute of the game to get free, free. <clears throat> and what I wanted to ask you, excuse me, what I wanted to ask you, where do you see Chelsea being this season? I mean, firstly, let's just have a look at this monstrosity of a kit. I mean, what is that kit? It's like a Crystal Palace, it's not even a Crystal Palace kit. It's like a, it's like a Poundland Crystal Palace kit. It's not the one, is it? But what I wanted to ask you guys is, where do you see Chelsea finishing this season? Because I look at Chelsea and I think, like, you've spent a lot of money, right? And I think they've bought a lot of quality along the way as well. I think that Havertz is fantastic. People can sit and laugh and write him off and ridicule him, etc. Oh, it's only Barnsley. That would have done him a world of good. I know he wasn't great again. Uh, Timo Werner, I don't know why they were playing him out on the left side, put him up front. Uh, Thiago Silva, people were mocking and laughing at him at half-time, including me. I, I did jump on that hype, I can't lie. Uh, but he um, he played well second half. And I think that you know, people are a little bit premature with, um, with their mocking of the likes of Man United, of the likes of Chelsea, of the likes of even Arsenal. People are sitting mocking us. We're doing all right at the moment. We're not great, but we're not crap. And it does make me laugh that Football fans in in the uh, in the whole on the whole, just they're so reactionary. It's like, listen, Chelsea were not great today. Hudson Adoy, he came on at half time, decent performance. Mason Mount, a lot of people don't rate Mason Mount. I actually think Mason Mount's a good footballer. I really like Mason Mount. I think he's a bit ho overhyped, but I do actually think Mason Mount's a decent footballer. Uh, Slavan Bilic must be fuming. You know, they were freeing him up real quick. And um, like I said, 27 minutes in, I'm sitting there like, boy, 3-0 against Chelsea. Everyone's laughing about the money Lampard spent and, oh, my God, they need half a billion pounds to fix their defence. Why did they buy all the strikers, et cetera, et cetera. I just look at it and I think, like, it's going to take a bit of time for some of these players to bed in, which is why when Arsenal fans are so hype about Thomas Partey, about Hussein Mawar, 
just have a look at Werner and Havertz for a little while. Just have a little look at them and say, yo, you've played three or four games now. You're not really there, are you? You're not at the hype. You're not at the peak. You're not doing what you were doing back in Germany. So let's not get carried away as Arsenal fans to go, yo, Hussein Awar is the next Messi. He's going to come in. He's going to take to the Premier League like a duck to water. And so is Thomas Partey. Firstly, we've got to sign him, which we haven't yet. And they've signed Havertz and Ferner and Thiago Silva. Secondly, they've then got to come in and fit in. These players are getting used to their surroundings. They're getting used to the pace of the league. Listen, the Premier League is unforgiving. It has swallowed up bigger and better names than Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, Hussein Awar, um, Thomas Partey. Remember Torres. Remember Shevchenko. Remember Falcao. You know, there's a few just to name. You know, there's been a lot of big flops, big money flops in the Premier League. Andy Carroll, big money. Big, big money Liverpool paid for him. Didn't really quite work out, did it? Um, and this is why I sit there and I'm a little bit more on the fence getting splinters up my backside uh, than jumping on the Twitter sphere uh, with the hype train and uh, and laughing and ridiculing uh, Chelsea. But listen, the results this weekend, uh, Everton stroll on again, um, one two one. Don Ancelotti, Don Carlo, he was my pick as manager when Wenger left and when Unai left, to be fair. Uh, but listen, the one thing I will say about Chelsea, they kept going. And if that was Arsenal doing that 3-0 down at half time, firstly, we'd all be having kittens because we're 3-0 down at half time. But everyone would sit there and praise the resilience. Yeah. Oh, Arsenal kept going till the death. They kept going. They kept going. And uh, we see the fallout from the Man United game with a penalty um, after, the, <laughs> after the whistle went. Chelsea scored in the 94th minute tonight. And uh, Tammy Abraham... Um, with another goal. Sammy Abraham pings in goals here and there and he is a very useful striker for uh, for Chelsea and uh, he is going to be somebody that if they keep hold of for this season, uh, which may be a thing, you know, he might chip in with 10 or 12 goals again. But this is the kind of uh, stuff that you see. Uh, Havertz, 72. Werner, 48. Chilwell, 45. Mendy, 22. Zayic, 36. Saar and Thiago. Chelsea's results. Uh, good job. Uh, um, the league isn't over three games then, isn't it? And this is uh, this is why I don't get reactionary with it. Not having a dig at that guy. Listen, he's doing what he's doing. Uh, good luck to him. But this is why I don't get reactionary with it. Yeah, come back at the end of the season um, and let's see if we're all laughing at Chelsea at the end of the season. Because, listen, Lampard might not be the greatest manager that's graced football. But if it doesn't go well for Lampard... He will get sacked. That is how Abramovich rolls. And uh, I do think that he has put himself under a lot of pressure. He's also, um, he's also raised the expectations for Chelsea fans because Chelsea fans last season, they knew they weren't great. Lampard's first season, etc., etc. This season, having spent that much money, even though it's the Hazard money, it's the Maratta money, potentially the Bakioko money, potentially other players to leave the club, um, the expectations have gone through the roof and everyone's now sitting there going, oh my God, Chelsea are on for the title. I even said Chelsea are going for a title. I said it in April. I said they're going to spend big money this summer, uh, which they have. They've backed their manager. Unlike the Banta Pandemic FC club, uh, we haven't backed our manager. Uh, but I'd love to know your thoughts on the game, first and foremost. Do you think West Brom were unlucky to get that goal conceded at the end or do you think that Chelsea ground it out and fully deserved to get the draw? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know, do you think Lampard's getting sacked before the end of the season? I've seen a lot of people talking about this. I'd love to know your thoughts. I do think they'll give him the whole season um, unless they have a mayor, a real big mayor, and might be down in 10th for Christmas. Then I do think they'll potentially sack him. But I don't think they'll be down in 10th. Listen, it's not easy when you bring four, five, six, seven players into a Premier League. Now, we see Kai Havertz the other day pinging balls out of play with no one near him. So that's why I always sit here and go, yo, let me just let me just sit back, fall back and see what happens over the course of the season or 10, 15 games, whatever it may be, uh, which is exactly why um, when Hussein Mawa and Thomas Partey are linked, I'm not sitting there building them up to be the greatest thing since sliced bread and getting us in that top four nailed on. You've only got to look at Havertz and Werner in the first three or four games to say, yo, it's our big boy league, you know. Uh, but listen, I will be back at about half 10 perhaps about half 10 
um, with an upload. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, I'm out of here. Latest peeps. <laughs>